first Delos voiceover. Her first Delos voiceover. No, don't film me. <laughs> Damn it. I knew you were doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first voiceover. Ah, oh, spying on people doing voiceovers is great. Previously on Delos, we arrive in Brazil. We just crossed the Atlantic, guys. We've done it. <laughs> Fucking done it. Whoa. Cheers. Well done, everyone. Yeah. Get checked in and start exploring. Okay, it is, I think, Tuesday morning. And. It's been about a week since we've been in Brazil and it's been really overwhelming. <laughs> now we are going to cruise over to the south side of the island. I'm really excited to go over there. Our SIM cards aren't going to work. There's going to be no internet. It's just going to be us and we can just chill and play in the water and relax and do some work for the next mm, five days, six days, something like that. So yeah, here we go. How are you feeling? Really excited about a calm, nice anchorage, like just being out, being able to swim every morning, paddleboard, like island hopping. Yes! yes it's time! <laughs> it's time! Yay. Are we gonna get. Why are you screaming in the radio when I'm talking? Hey, we're trying to talk on camera down here! <laughs> Hello! Exciting. We've gotten so much cool information from a lot of the local sailors around here. We've got this book from our good friend Beto. So this is Beto, yeah? Beto. I was pronouncing it wrong all day, I was calling you Beto. Well, <laughs> don't worry, it's normal. So Beto bought a boat in Santos yes. three, three months ago. Three months. Three months ago. And he's starting to sail up the coast with your wife, yeah? Yeah, and my dog. And your dog. Yeah, cool, my, man. my dog called Google. Google? Yeah, <laughs> it's a golden retriever. Cool, cool. cool. And uh, Beto sent us a, a message on Facebook, or on email actually, your wife did, and then we connected and just sailor helping out another sailor. So he's got this really cool always, always. A guidebook of, of the local area we are now. And we're just going over some really cool spots that, that he's been to and he recommends. And, and we are using this book for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, local knowledge is better than anything you could ever yeah. use, you know? Yeah. And you guys have a YouTube channel too. Yeah. What's it, what's it called? It's Sailing Around the World. Sailing Around the World, yeah. that's the name of it. Okay. And what are your plans for your boat? Are you going to go sail around the world eventually? Yeah, we, we are going to Caribbean first, yeah. but stopping all the places in Brazil. Mm. And after we pretend to, to go or to Pacific or to Europe. And when, when are you doing that? When are you leaving to go to the Caribbean? I don't know. You don't know soon? <laughs> I, I don't have a schedule. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just like us. Yeah. And we're gonna go around to the north corner of the island, come on to the east side, and there's this sweet, sweet anchorage. So this spot down here, it's protected from every wind direction except kind of north and northeast. Let's go! Atado un 
un postre con la cordura en su lugar Imaginando o no pensando se vive igual Se vive igual Pegando fuerte o hablando bajo sin molestar Estando lejos o aquí en su suelo se vive igual No me dirán que somos Los inocentes que buscan más entre vos y yo How's it looking, Bray? It looks pretty sweet. We're just trying to get as far as we can in because there's a little bit of swell out there. I want the boat to be like calm. Exciting. So pretty. So pretty, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh, what a perfect little beach. Little dream beach. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna zoom over and just check the depth because there's a bit of shadows in the water over here. I just thought to check. Okay. Okay. About 17 feet right here. And then you've got that beast right there. This spot looked incredible. Clear water, beautiful beach. But little did we know that we were just about to get eaten alive. What a chudo! What a chudo! Already. Ah, there's like 10 on my legs already. Oh no! These things are destroying us. Beautiful anchorage we pull up to. Like All we hear yelling is, Get inside, get inside! Get inside. So close the hatches now, now! Go, go, go! They're the itchiest little motherfuckers. Ever experienced. They're the worst flies in we the world. We were bitten huh? over a week ago and they're still itching everyone. Yo, look at my foot, Brian. These tiny little flies, locally called barachudos, have been biting us over the last week. But here it was on a different level. They were swarming us. I have never experienced such intense itchy bites. So those are from last week. Yeah. They got scratched up, but these ones are all new from today. Are those new ones? Yeah. That's new, that's new, it's that's new. It's almost like new. a blood blister, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The best way to protect you from flies is trousersing your socks. I'm all zipped up, I'm all covered up, putting citronella on everything. Yeah. We're gonna move the boat for their way. Go, go, go! Dog is out. We'll miss you! How is it out there, boys? We're not sure yet. I think we're gonna move anyway because there's a swarm of them. We don't know if they're still here from before or if they're still coming out. So we're gonna go somewhere where we can get a little further away from land. There's another but anchorage about. When we start going, away. we could use a killing party. Come up and kill them all. Fly killing mission. Weapon of choice. Moldy toilet paper roll. Nice. We're coming out! Get out! Go, go, go! Go! <laughs> <laughs> a gang of crazy people. There's nowhere to hide. Alright, what's up, Brian? What's the plan here? <laughs> we found another anchorage. It's about four miles away from the other one. Or bolt into that one to see if there's no flies. I think if you stay on this course for a while, then come around to port. Okay. And then we can drop. What do you think, Brady? I haven't seen any devil flies, and it's nice and protected, so... So far, so good. Okay, far enough. And I think we're gonna have a pretty epic sunset behind these little hills. Oof, looks like the fly situation is a little bit better here. We've only seen like one or two, not 200. So that's... that's pretty nice. What do you got going on? I'm, I'm just watching the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> We've tied the Osmo, I don't know if you want to get a video of our tie job, we've tied the Osmo onto the bow and we've orientated it to the sun to try and get a time lapse. It's so hard to get time lapses on the boat because it's moving all the time, so we're trying to figure this out. 
but the real one's there. Pretty good. <laughs> Look at you two working hard. What are you working? Our office. <laughs> what are you working on today? Videos. Yeah. Lots of editing. Yeah. How's it going? It's going good. I actually did more progress this morning than I've done in like a week. Just you know, waking up early and just having the time and the space, you know. Yeah. It's Very nice good. to have a break from everything and just work because yeah, it's been so crazy. Definitely. Do you ever feel weird editing? Like I can see your face on the screen right now. Is it ever weird for you to... <laughs> That's actually a really funny shot of you. <laughs> look at my screen. <laughs> and then look at Brian's. <laughs> How funny. Like look at you two in here. Oh hello, we're just right here. <laughs> <laughs> but does it ever like weird you out seeing yourself on camera all the time? Not really. I don't think I think about it in that way. Like I never really... I, I don't know if I understand that other people actually watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that might sound stupid, but like... I don't know. I think you're so into like just that experience that we had at that point. And it's just us doing everything. So. If, I look stupid and I don't want to put something in, then I don't do it. But I like to make fun or of everybody and doing. myself, so <laughs> <laughs> most of the time it's awesome to put stuff like that in. Yeah. It is tough finding a balance between, you know, like work life since our work is basically our life and vice versa. When we left Ascension Island, it was very intense. We were doing a lot of diving, we were getting ready to go. And then we had almost, what, 16 days, over two weeks of sailing. And then we got into Brazil, and then a month goes by, and you're like, oh man, we're really like behind on our videos. Alright, I'll let you guys get back to work. <laughs> what are you working on over here? I'm answering the bio bears. So grateful about people just wanting to give us some to drink beer. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> so. I like to read each individual email and leave it on there and I like to respond to each person and um, yeah, I'm just looking for a really cool photo to send people. At the same time, I'm trying to learn French. <laughs> Multitasking. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? I'm currently editing the War with Bay episode. How do you how do you turn it off and on? Like when do you when do you decide to work? Because ultimately we all get to decide when we want to work. So how do you decide? But I love to work during the night and not in the morning hours because I'm not such a morning person. But I know what I have to do in the in what time schedule and then it must be done. But I can decide when I want to work or not. And I think that's perfect. Okay, get back to work. I'm going back. Okay. My favorite part about going through this footage or my favorite part about editing in general is that you get to relive what you've already done and I really really realize how much I forget like how much about what I've done in life I forget so to be able to go back and watch it be like oh yeah we did go there or we did do this that's my favorite part because I get to relive it all over again this is your second Dallas video third third yeah third What's your, are you, are you coming like to a process for making Dallas videos? For me, I like to scrub through 100% of the video because sometimes we'll just be shooting cool things but we won't talk about what we're doing. Um, and then sometimes we talk a lot but we don't really shoot that much besides that. So just kind of seeing where the strongest parts are and where, where to focus the story. Because there's just so much, especially with all these cameras on board. Like we have, I'm shooting, Lisa's shooting, we have the 4K, we have the GH4, multiple GoPros, the drone, and the Osmo. So that's seven to eight cameras going. And that's so much footage to go through. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it can be really intense. But once I get through everything and I see what I have, that's my favorite part to start mixing and matching everything together and putting it together like a puzzle piece. So I'm gonna go back to my kitchen duties. Okay and start with dinner. What do you want for dinner tonight? I told you! I want the Mexican foods. You want Mexican foods? Yeah, make me some tacos. Good thing we picked up some fresh cilantro at the store. Yay! Okay, Yummy. food time. Bye.
is what it feels like to wake up in a cove in the middle of nowhere, somewhere off the coast of Brazil. It's so peaceful. So even though the weather's not the best today, we're gonna go for a little dinghy cruise and go see what's around the area. But we all have to wrap up because we're itching like crazy. <laughs> Look at that green lush goodness. Okay. No, it's okay. Oh, barracuda. Fish and porco. No, man. Fish and porco. Fish and porco. Oh, like the pork fish. <laughs> like a big, big fish. Fancy. But poco. See, poco. Yeah, poco. Yeah, baby, baby grouper, and I don't know what that is, like a mackerel or something. Obrigado. Everyone here is so nice. Nice. Like we haven't met one person that's blown us off or not wanted to chat. No, they're so cool. And like they just caught a, only a couple of fish and that poor baby barracuda. I mean, it's just so tiny and they wanted to give it to us for food, you know? Hey, do you have any country on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, tonight's uh... A night where we're not taking things for granted, hey Alex? Mm -mm. It's a beautiful night. We've got <laughs> a bottle of wine. We've got an assortment wooden box filled with, I don't know, dominoes and cards. And <laughs> cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. Look at this. Us, do you ever feel like, holy shit, this is my life? Or do you feel too used to it or something like that? I think you, you put somebody in some place long enough and they become jaded by it. To us, this is our world and we don't, not necessarily appreciate it, we appreciate it, but we don't look at it in the same way as somebody who's only doing it for a weekend. It's nice to really put in perspective what we're actually doing and we're in this random bay in Brazil on a sailboat anchored where these man-eating flies are and we need to get out and <laughs> see it. <laughs> Today has been a bit of a failure so far. <laughs> so we first woke up, it was a little bit sunny, we were going to do the intro um, and right as we were kind of ready to do it, all these rain clouds rolled in. Um, we changed our plans and yeah, we moved Anchorage or we we're trying to find an Anchorage and how is that going right? <laughs> It's even worse over here than it was where we came from. <laughs> and oh, there's this beautiful waterfall, but it's like a freaking big easterly swell, and the rain clouds have moved in, and it's cold. Oh, yeah, you know when we, we did not push. You don't gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. <laughs> yeah, because you push so much for something, and it's just like, mm -hmm. 
I think we just go. And everybody's inside watching movies anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what does everybody do? Liz and Alex is fixing their blogs. And Lisa is watching movies. Yeah. So, <laughs> three of us out here. Just. What's the consensus? I don't know. <laughs> we just, well, we turned away from that beach, so we're gonna go this way. We're just gonna go. We're gonna go. We're just gonna go and look for something that's good. What are you gonna make? How do you guys feel about turkey sandwiches? I feel great about a turkey sandwich. I, I love about... turkey sandwiches. Yeah. The swells are huge. Six meters. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy, look at this! It just goes from 20 to 26. Woo, that was a big one! Wow! It's like disappears the island almost and he's smashing against those two blocks. around the island and it's definitely getting better so hopefully we can just go around the corner a little bit more and then try to find a really nice little spot yeah. welcome to our new home it looks like we can we can work on our intro here I definitely. think that's nice yeah so, let the filming begin yeah okay we are gonna attempt to film our intro for the season. So we have Brady on the paddleboard out here. <laughs> Start out there and then we have the rest of the crew in the dinghy that's gonna be filming and holding on to Brady and doing all these things. So wish us luck. Hopefully we don't drop any cameras in the water and it all goes according to plan. Girl crew. Girl crew. That's a little bit more like Girl crew that. Crew productions. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just rock it. Action. Momentum started. Momentum. Smile has begun. Laughing, smiling, starting. Oh shit, sorry. Go back. Oh, oh both one. you. Action. Kaza. Let's, Let's try it again. Okay, and action. Shit, you forgot the hand. Again? Okay, again. Momentum starting. Rolling. Smile. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> Kaza. Perfect. Good, Kaza. Good one. It's nice. Nice. See. What do you say there, director? I'm happy. It's Lisa Spielberg today. <laughs> Personally, I like my job. I just hang out and watch the carnage from my little vantage point, which is out of the shot. It's always fun pushing your limits and trying different things. But making this intro made me realize that I'm happy that we film in the moment and not by a script. Says I'm actually quite a horrible actress, and I found myself getting a wee bit frustrated taking the same shots over and over and over. It would actually take a few more hours and a completely different anchorage altogether to nail this intro. Good morning, Mr. Green. Do you have your phone? I do, yeah. Let's pull out some of the, I want to see one of those videos you've been talking about. Okay. Show me the first video he sent. <laughs> Hello guys. Hello Brian. Hello Brady. Hello Kerry. We are following you for a long time in YouTube. We love you. We love your adventures. Uh, my brother, 
El gordón. My wife Vanessa. Tomorrow we are going uh, to give you a big party. Churrasco and many caipirinhas, okay? Betão, Jadir, vocês também? Amanhã nós vamos lascar. You are going to be very, very, very drunk. Eu espero que God, that is. Uh, so. I think it's ribs or it's rub I steak. Think, yeah, that is. I don't know what that is, but it looks delicious. Yeah, and then this is just a. There's a shopping cart full. Of I don't know how many people are expecting, but there's there's like 15 cases of beer. <laughs> Game on today, brother. Yep. So we are all smelling good. Oh, your boat <laughs> smells so good. I boat hasn't smelled this good in a long time. We all spiffed ourselves up. I even put a little bit of makeup on, and. All dressed in our finest. So we just arrived at the party and there's looks like there's already a lot of people here and there's music and lots of loud voices, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mikasa uh, Sukasa. Obrigada. My wife, Vanessa. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you for having us here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Very nice to meet you. This is Marcelo. He's the one that we saw the video on the on the cell phone with. Yes. And he's, yes. he's kindly opened up his house for us to have a churrasco. Churrasco. And caipirinhas. And caipirinhas. Thank you so much, man. Okay, my friend. It's a pleasure okay. to be here. Muito it's obrigado. a pleasure. Muito it's obrigado. a pleasure for me. Muito it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. <laughs> okay, cool. We have, a, we have a long night ahead of us. So. Demos in my house. <laughs> I've been uh, trying to learn how to make a proper caipirinha. Okay. Step one, peel the lime. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit, smaller pieces. Alrighty. I'm gonna put the lime in there and a uh, scoop of sugar. Oh yeah, and then you mush it and you get this good lime sugar goodness. And then I'm gonna add some local Brazilian cane sugar distilled, which is cassaça. And then we add gelo, ice. The key is when you do this one. <laughs> oh, it was just for this <laughs> And then you taste. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Muito prazer. I love you, man. Ah, oh, that's pleasant. <laughs> the Brazilian spirit. So open and friendly and just willing to give their friendship to you immediately. It's really cool. It's actually really, really special. We've met some really cool people tonight. It's awesome. I literally have no, no words for this hospitality. Everybody should experience Brazil in this way. Well, as you can tell, the party was a success. Um, so yeah, we almost had got to sleep about 2 a.m. Uh, we had a great time. You know what? The Brazilian hospitality is crazy. Um, everyone has such amazing energy oh, it's so amazing that these random people that that kind of know us but we don't know are inviting us into their homes and into their like friend group to show us their way of life and we've definitely seen that the brazilian culture is like this that everybody we meet that's brazilian is just incredibly welcoming and like ready to do everything for us and show us a good time 
Up next, we go on an adventure to the other side of the island, sail north, and say a sad goodbye to our list. You like it? I like it a lot. It's like I always wanted to be a rapper. I don't know, we're well not really, but to, to live the life of like a rapper is pretty good. <laughs> Bitches, hoes, boats, gold, money, you know? So he's gonna, he's, she's gonna give me a retainer, we'll put in that covers these teeth, that's gonna, it's gonna be diamond plated, it's gonna say Delos. That way I can sip on my scissor and just be like, a, <laughs> grilling, you know what I mean? Grilling. It was back in England, I did think I was a shit hot cook. I did think I was good, but when I came here, I realized I, it wasn't a shit hot cook, I just knew shit all. What's happening? The raid came into my fucking office, that's what happened. Raid, you got destroyed, dude. Oh, you've got very nice warm hands. They were just down in my pants. Oh. oh, God. Oh, the water's actually so warm on top. It's good, Brady just peed. Oh. Hey, Nikki. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nikki just woke up doing work from bed. That's how it works. <laughs> office life. The office life of Brady. Yeah. It's 100% vegan with cheese and chicken. I think Alex is taking a shit. Still feeling fine. What the hell? Why is she flushing? What? What is she flushing? That's a triple flusher, that is. Bluevian? Yeah. Puts it down. <sighs> goes to town. Man, she's like shitting. Lisa's having a deep conversation about life no fast in the Bible and Blue's like curling one out. Murdering a brown snake. <sighs> I think I have to retake this again. <laughs> you play, you pay, that's the name of it. <laughs> that's a good um, idea. So basically, um, I haven't had my period in quite a while and everyone keeps joking that I'm pregnant and it's become a bit of a, a running joke now. It was me and Brady were just having a discussion last night and we're like, yeah, you know, it'd be great if Liz is pregnant. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Just a just a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I mean, either I've got to start going to the gym or something or I have a pregnant energy. Is I'm it, pretty sure I'm not. Are you talking about a baby bump? Is people thinking I'm fat or something? No, I don't think it's because of the baby bump. I, just I don't have a baby bump! No, I, that's what I mean. I don't get it from that. Ah. I just get a vibe. I get a pregnant vibe. <laughs> that's what you said last night. You said I got a pregnant bump, Brady. No, well, you were a bit bloated. You were drinking a lot and you just ate. That's all. Oh my god, everything about this part. I'm just kidding, Liz. He didn't say yes, that. Yes, he did, because he I, just admitted it. I thought it would be. Pee on the stick. I want to see the results. Big traitor, Judas. Put this to rest. How many lines on that thing? One. Negative. Are you sure? You so want me to be pregnant, Brian. One. I told you, look, see, negative result, one. It's pretty early, though. You do shit a lot. You shit no, a lot. No, you shit really? way more than You're me. Like, you shit a lot. I try. I have little poops, like a bunny rabbit. You're like a moose. Your poos are like moose poos. You've never Mine's even seen my poo. You've I've never seen it. my poo. I know yours are quite sufficient. There's too much shitting going on in this boat. <laughs>